Welcome to this video on passive heating and cooling of buildings. On this channel Synergy Files we aim to inspire budding engineers and technicians for a better more sustainable world. So please do subscribe to our channel. We are going to quickly cover two very important features of sustainable architecture. Firstly a solar chimney for cooling purposes and secondly we will look at a trome wall for heating of a building in cold climate countries. The idea of a solar chimney is simple. If there is already a chimney in the building, then the outside wall of that is painted black, particularly on the south facing side, that is if you live in the northern hemisphere. The sun heats up the chimney. The black paint allows it to soak up more heat effectively and as a result the air inside gets heated and an updraft is created. This creation of updraft aids the suction of cool air into the building. Additionally, a ground pipe can be laid with one end opening into the building and the other end opening into the ambient air. The idea of sucking the air through a pipe, part of which remains underground, is to allow the air to exchange its heat with relatively cooler ground. So adding this feature to the building can improve ventilation and also reduce the need for air conditioning. The second feature that we will discuss in this video is called a trome wall. It is used for heating buildings and making the most out of the low winter sun in cold climate countries. The idea is to keep a high thermal mass wall or a thick wall behind a glass facade. The sun rays pass through the glass and are absorbed by the wall. The wall then re-radiates the energy it has soaked up. However, the re-radiated energy has a very low wavelength which is bounced back by the glass wall. As a result, the heat remains inside the building. The trome wall can be used for capturing energy through the day and release it through the night, depending upon the wall material and its thickness. The heating requirements for building with a trome wall are greatly reduced. Trome walls are found in many northern European countries. And with this, the topic of passive heating and cooling of buildings using solar chimney and trom wall is concluded. Now if you want to look up more details on these two topics, there's plenty of websites on which you will find the details on the building materials that are used for making them. And thanks for watching this video. Please do like the video if you learned from it and subscribe to the channel for more such videos. Thank you for your attention.